Hello, hello, I'm Li Hao. So for the past few days, I've been cleaning up uh, Svelte GitHub issues. Um, not, I'm not sure that I clean up all of them, but I've gone through a few of them, uh, make some changes, add some PRs and things like that. And while I was doing it, I was thinking that maybe, maybe some of you may be interested in this kind of uh, videos, like um, how do I actually go through Svelte issues and how do I fix them? So, uh, but at the same time, you wouldn't want me to see me coming through them because it's it's very boring. Uh, basically, I'm like doing it intermittently. I like look through some issues and then maybe wander off watching some YouTube videos and then come back again or maybe go for a toilet break, snack break and things like that. Uh, but um, I decided to record it on my screen, just the screen. And you know, I try to trim some of the pieces together and do some voice over across them. So uh, here are they. I've made a few videos. So this is the one that you're watching now is one of them. And yeah, so I see how many of them actually made it through. And if you like this kind of videos, uh, you know what to do, smash the like button. Um, so that YouTube algorithm knows that this is a good video and they'll suggest to more people to watch and good for me as well so that I know that you are really interested to this kind of video then I'll see my I'll try my best to do more of this kind of videos right so um, so that's it enjoy the video <laughs> so let's take a look at this issue it says error when using animate flip if there's no space in front of each block. Okay, so I'm gonna error message that says, um, elements that use animate directive must be a sole child of a key to each block when using animate flip. If there's no space in front of each block. Um, here's a more minimalistic reproduction. The following does not pass. Wait, are you sure? Um, it's each. Okay, it looks, it looks okay, right? Let's see. Paste this in. Oh, holy shit. It says an element that uses element directive must be a sole child of K. So this error itself says that if you have a each block, if you have a div, if you have elements with animate, uh, it has to be a only child within this uh, each block and it has to be a key each block right so apparently somehow um this does not work i believe it's because of maybe it's considering like the spaces let me remove the space oh yeah it's 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 the space so you consider this space as another child somehow so so that's why it, it says that it's gonna have a it has to be the only child. Okay, so this is this is weird. So if I have a space over here, then this is okay. Uh, as as weird as it sounds, but I guess that's the bug itself. So let's let's try to fix this. Okay, so I know it's an ancient issue, and it's it's like it's like if you do this, it just works. But it's it's an edge case that I guess we should address. So okay, let's 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 create a branch to fix this, right? So let me branch out. Uh, let's see the issue name five four one five. Okay, uh, let's first start by creating a test case. So I believe this. Let's see what sh sh kind of test case should I write? Um. Since we're just parsing, right? So I guess we can add a parse parser test or runtime. I think runtime test is okay. We don't have to test like actual animation, but we can still test this, right? So uh let's let's search for the test case that we are gonna write. Runtime each animate animate. Okay, so we have few test cases over here. Animation. Um, animation. No, so um, I'm looking for where to. Okay, I, I think it's here. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna 
you know that I I don't even know like is there a naming convention for test cases, but I just uh prefer that test cases that's testing the similar features like animate animation should be close to each other. So I'm gonna name something like maybe prefix if animation js uh uh I'm gonna say let's see. Okay, it does not have to be a js. I'm gonna say animation um inline each block. I think that's it. Okay, so config uh I don't need any of this. Uh I just need to make sure that this test uh, this can be parsed, right? So I remove this uh over here. Let's just copy paste this simplest reproduce case. Okay. Alright. And each admit flip. Uh okay. Just don't I I think that's it. Okay, so uh let's run the test to make sure that again it's it's failing on the latest master. And it does it's it's throwing an error, so let's try to fix this. So how should we start? So first thing is uh let's look at this error, an element that used animate directive. Uh and see where it's being thrown. Okay, so I uh it's throwing from an error called invalid animate soul. Okay, so uh it's it's coming from here. Has animation. Uh children length is not one, then you are getting error. Okay, so children length um Okay, so if the children length uh is not one, right, so um let me just try to maybe add some console over here. Um this dot children. Alright, so the thing is I'm probably okay, so I started a dev server by running yarn dev. So all it will start a watcher and it will watch my changes and it will compose every time when I have changes. Right, so first thing is uh I'm gonna You see we are running four tests over here because we um uh the same test cases is actually being used to test for server side rendering, uh hydration and things like that. So I think we just need to focus on one first. So we're gonna skip if it's hydrate and skip if it's um SSR. Okay. So we're gonna just run one test. Okay, so it has so we, we log out the children, right? So it's an array with one text okay with a space. Um, elements which is the div with the flip animation and then another element with a space at the end okay um so so that's actually three children okay so what happens if i add a space in front of each I just add this space and run a test again Then oh, then I only have one element. Okay, actually I actually have two. Oh, then I'll with a, with two elements, elements and the text itself. Okay, actually I will end up with two elements. Um. Children find. So that should give us error as well. Right. So even with one space okay, so with one space this remove the space for here. Um so I believe if we add another space over here, probably this space will be merged with the space over here. I'm I'm just guessing, I don't know. Because we add one space kind of like left with two elements. Right, so uh come over here with we if we 
remove this space, it will complain, right? Uh, if we remove this space, it will still complain. I guess there's some space merging kind of thing happening with with the each, right? So uh, I'm just gonna verify, validate, right? Just now you see two, uh, you see that there's two two children, two child in the children array, right? Two elements. One is the element, one is the text. If I right now add a space and I run this test case again, let's see. Um, you should. I'm guessing it will. Yeah, only have one element, right? So. I believe there's some sort of space merging logic happening, right? So uh, here I am at each block. So uh, most likely is in the map children, right? Because you see that we're calling map children, returning as a children. So we're going to go in here and say map children. Okay, so let's... Um, let's see what's just create children. So I guess the children that we are receiving is already with space because over here it does not seem that it has any code that relates to space. Right, so let's go up. Uh so we call children. Right, children is the fourth info dot children. Okay, so this info is is created by each block. So actually, each block is being over is is we get this each block over here. That's where we uh merge them, right? So I I guess the space handling part is not in the each block, rather than maybe say elements. Uh, let's take a look over here. So let's take a look at the children. Do we have anything that relates to children? Option. No, not really. So I guess even. Um. Let's see where we should go up. Uh. Okay. So here is where we should look at. So here we have a fragment this is like the root of all the nodes so let's maybe let's start from here uh, so actually fragment is being created in the component so I think we come over here and check say console log is the HTML we gonna check the tree itself and see anything we can find over here Okay, so it's, it starts with a fragment and then I have a children with a uh, div, which is the root div that we see over here, right? Okay, so, um, okay, so there's a lot of ways to actually uh, debug this. We can keep changing and um, console out the thing. Um, of course, there's other ways to test this, which is to run a debugger. Since you are watching this, you're expecting something interesting, then let's try to do that, right? Um, so usually what I would do is that uh, I would have a project folder called my Svelte project, which I is like a draft, which is like a notepad for me, a scratch pad for me to, to test a lot of things, right? So one thing that's interesting is that I've already simp link um, Svelte into this folder. So what I need to do is just run it, uh, like make changes. So whenever I make changes in my Svelte folder, uh, the Svelte version is used in this project folder is being ref is, is the latest one in, in my local Svelte version. Right, so I'm going to change this code uh, to this. Okay, and see i think i'm just gonna create a new file uh, that's sparse js okay 
Um, so I'm gonna import Svelte requires Svelte compiler and Svelte.compile is it? Svelte dot let's see what's the export. I can't even remember what's the export of the compiler. Uh compile Yeah, compile, correct. Svelte.compile and compile you are being called with a source. Oh, so I just need to copy this whole thing. Uh, com source. Right. And I guess that's it. Result equals this. Right. So if we run test parser. Oops. Sorry. Test parse. It will throw an error, right? This is an error we're expecting because we don't have space. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here in our compiler, we're gonna add a debugger statement over here. Right? This will set a debugger. Uh this will uh in yeah, this will allow us to create a breakpoint, right? And be, and since our Svelte project, Svelte version is linked to this, we I think it will have a debugger as well. So to test this with a debugger is we're gonna run um we're gonna add some flag like inspect and inspect break uh with the test parser. So inspect is to go into inspect mode where if you debug if you have breakpoint you will break. Inspect break is more like you're gonna break at the first line so that it gives you time to say set up your debugger and things like that, right? So of course you can run this using VS Code, uh, but I often find useful to, or rather I'm more familiar with running this directly from the Chrome browser uh, because I'm kind of used to the Chrome browser um, inspector. So uh, let's let's start running. Okay, now we are brick at this brick point. So over here, let's open our console. Let's see. Uh, ASD HTML is the node, right? Let me zoom it up. Right, so we have a children element. And then element has two children, one text, one each block, which has uh, two children, element and text. Right, so I think at this point already we have kind of um, ignore or merge the text that is right in front of this element, right? I look at the code over here, you see that there's a space here, but it's not represented. So, um, so let's, so this probably goes way up in the parsing. Uh, so this is in the compile folder. If you look at over here, compile folder, this is already in the phase where we have a parse HTML, which is the ASD.html, right? This one, we already parsed into a Svelte AST. I'm gonna do a uh, run through over here. The second phase is to convert in into a uh, another, a different a com uh, fragment tree that does like, um, figure out all the dependencies and things like that. So at this phase, uh, the tree itself is maybe not what we want already. So that, so maybe let's stick, uh, move up, go one step back and look at the parsing. Uh, so parsing, parsing. Uh, mm, probably will be at the tag, right? Tag. Um, let's see. Reads, okay, um, tag, no, no, uh, let's, element, um, tag, parse, then meta tags. Um, then elements, okay, elements. And then if it's not closing tag, attribute, um, then, okay. 
And then children push element. And hmm, and that's it. Okay. So it could be just the text itself. Um parse parser dot current which is current stack children are push node. Okay, so let's take a look at some mustache. Mustache is where you have a curly brackets, right? So you have some of the blocks, like each block. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, okay. this is a very long file. I don't even. Okay, so okay, this is when you are closing. Okay, this is in else then. Okay, so this is where we start. Okay, you start a new tag. Okay, you hit the keyword. Require white space. Okay. Um, and then we start a new block. And then this is parsing for the each something as something. Okay, we're going to close this. Uh, shorthand for await. And then children push block. Hmm. Which means this will push the children. Okay, so where is the place where we. Okay, so at this point, it's already too late. So let's see process component option. There must be some point of time where we kind of optimize, like collapsing or something, right? So. Yeah, I mean it's it's just hard to find things. Okay, so here is where we get the AST. Um, so it's either in the parse or in the component, right? So we're gonna add debugger over here as well. Uh, so we're gonna restart this whole thing. We'll run it again, and we'll break over here. Okay, so now we look at AST, HTML. Fragment children, you have one element, uh, you have two children, a text and a each, which is correct. And within each, you have only two children, which is not quite right. What, where ha what happened? Okay, so um, I think in this case, we kind of have to step through the parse function and figure that out, right? So you have parse uh, instance HTML parser. Okay, so in over here. Okay, I see something relates to p white space. Um, children length. Okay, this is HTML dot children dot length. Uh, I think it's already too late. So over here, probably we already have this HTML. So I'm gonna add a debugger over here as well. Um, children stack push. And then in the loop, we'll keep calling state. So state could either be um, the fragment. It's either fragment or... Or whatever is written from the function, right? So fragment itself is actually returning either tag, mustache or text, right? So um, so the first thing, okay, so maybe we add a debugger over here. And let's take a look at the parser. Okay, so let's start, inspect. Uh, let's run. Next. Whoa, okay, I think something screwed up in the source map, but uh, let's see where are we now. Um, okay, we are at the parser actually. Okay, so 
Um, we have okay. We have two stacks. We are the roots element, and then we are in the elements with a div. Right, with no children yet. So if we run again, uh, let's um, let's call this again. Right now, our stack elements. No children yet. Okay. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna add this. Call this dot. Uh, HTML. Okay. This dot stack. And this is gonna add a expression. I'm gonna watch. Um. Let's see. It's not gonna change it. Okay. Now we have three elements. Uh. This dot stack. Uh. Let's see. We have a stack of three elements, fragment elements, each block. Uh, element itself has two children, the text and each block. And now we just push a new content, which is the each block. Right. So now uh, we probably should um, go to let's see we should go to each block oh, no 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 not this one it's it's the let's see fragment mustache tag mustache mustache okay we eat this and then we push right so now we encountering a space we're actually in the text okay so we're actually here in the text file uh if parser match So what is match? Okay, if the current character is either uh matching with a small the the less than or the curly brackets, right? So this dot match is false. It's matching this is false. Okay, so while this we are we are while we are not matching any of this, we'll keep taking characters. And then we should push the children to the nodes, right? So we're gonna add the bug over here as well. Console log a node. Let's try this again. Um, let's see. Okay, we have text, right? And this is, this is not, okay. Next, we are here again. I believe this is the parser, this dot stack. This dot stack. Right, we have two elements. Okay, next. We are stepping into the um, um, um. into the elements each block, okay. And then we should be stepping into the text, okay. Okay, so by now we should be adding a children, which is a text, to our each block. And then the next thing will be adding the element. Right. Let's see, uh, each block. Text and element. Okay, correct. Okay. 
Okay, we encounter space again. Um, okay, so at, at this point in time, everything still looks normal and okay. Right, we are adding space. Uh, okay, so at this point of time, oh, at this point of time, probably have three children in the each block. Right, we have text, element, and text. So probably is when we are doing the closing. So let's uh, let's take a look at the closing because just now we didn't really pay attention at the closing. So if we are closing a mustache, uh, closing. Oh, we have a trim white space if necessary. Trim white space if necessary. So it says that um So we get the character before And the character after, if character before and after is a white space. You actually trim it. Okay. So you actually trim white space. I'm not sure about this logic at all. Not comfortable of changing any any of this. Uh let's trim white space. Let's see it. Wow, this is five years ago code man. I I literally have no confidence on changing any of this. Let's take a look at what it was trying to do. Okay, so wow. Two digits, two digit pull request, man. Allow also trim white space from if else were also missing end markers, so I added them. Hmm, didn't explain a lot, but trim white space. Basically, you will trim white space within the um, within a logic block, right? So the logic is like this. If you have a logic block and if you have white space before and after uh, the logic block itself, it should, it should trim that white. It, it, then your white space within the logic block itself doesn't matter anymore. Right, so you, you just, you can trim it because um, in most cases, one white space is, how, however many white space, unless you are in a pre-tag, however, however many white space itself doesn't really mix, doesn't really um, affect anything anymore. Right. So if you want to trim white space, you are okay to do it, right? But in our case, if we have white space characters, uh, then it will make us, will give us a problem because, uh, yeah, because then every time when you animate, you actually, yeah, it doesn't make sense to have white space when you do animation, but it's, I would say like in each block, the white space will, Yeah, I mean it. It's it's still it should be still be there because if you have each, so this is I don't even know whether I should fix this or 
how it should be, right? So if you have Oh no, but if you have a white space in front, you will trim, which means any any white space in between. Okay, I'm not sure whether you would notice white space at all over here, but if you inspect, I believe if you inspect, they are, um, can't even see whether it's white space. Whether pre will help us in this case. Oh yeah, because Svelte will trim the white space, right? Uh, if you do it this way, then if you don't have white space in between, in in front and then at the end then you these are actually white spaces not being trimmed and you have space in in between the elements right so i feel like it this is this is not quite sure you, you can't really see it from here but you can tell right because if you don't have white space over here then it, it, it does not have there's actually two white spaces so if you add a space over here it's see this is being tr because you have one before here then it will trim the white space for here then you actually only have one white space uh right in front of the w if you if you if you if you if you if you, if you, if you can see it right if i remove this you yeah you can't really tell uh but but it's being trimmed right so if it if you're doing this yeah you can't really tell but if a space over here versus a space over here there's a white space at the end of this pre-tag but again you can't tell you can't see it um and maybe there's also spell logic that okay trims it okay so so that that's a thing um so now we kind of understood what is happening right here but how should we fix it I would say that in each block Well, I don't have a idea on how to fix this right now but definitely there is some hidden logic as we step through and figure out like there's hidden logics about white spaces but in particular within within the parser right um in regards on how we should fix how, how we should let the white space uh like how, how should we handle white space uh, surrounding a each like within logic blocks in general, um, we need to like write it out and um, maybe like document it down. And I guess this will be something that um, I can't make decision my on my own because you know trim white space logic as you can see starts from the history starts from five years ago and uh, probably I will like write down what I found and raise it up in the discussion in our regular monthly discussion. So um, unfortunately, you can't see me fixing it. Uh, this issue, we're going to just uh, add it for discussion. So um, if you're <laughs> expecting something immediately, I'm sorry to disappoint you. And... I'm not sure you follow me around when I'm like trying to debug and make sense of things. 
um, that's how things are and yeah that's how things goes every time it, it takes times to figure things out and things like that so um, I'm just gonna put on hold over here um, and I'm just gonna call it part one um, hopefully we have our follow-up but that's about it for today for this issue we're just gonna put on hold and see what we're gonna get out from the discussion so that's all for this issue if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, if you have any things you want to add on comments in the comment section down uh, below the video and that's all see you in the next video so see ya bye bye